What's up travelers? In this video, we're going to have the world famous English Sunday Roast. Check it out. Two days ago, I woke up at like 6 in the morning and I went to the airport at SeaTac in Seattle. And then I was there until 12.30 in the afternoon. And I got on a plane and then I flew to Calgary which was an hour and a half. That was like the worst flight of my life. There was this family there and they were new parents and they had two babies with them. I think it was the first time they ever traveled. And they had everything including the kitchen sink with them. And it just so happened that I got to sit right next to them and I had no room in my seat. I couldn't believe that the airline allowed this to even happen. But I was just cramped up and it was like, it was absolutely horrible. <laughs> we get into Canada and we went through customs and that was the easiest dealings with the Canadian customs I've ever had in my life. So that was a good deal. I ended up getting a hotel at a Holiday Inn Express, which was just really close to the airport. I didn't go into Calgary at all. I just stayed at the hotel. I had a 27 hour layover in Calgary and I just stayed at the hotel until it was time to get go to the airport. Then I got on the plane. It was a nine hour flight from Calgary to London. Gathwick Airport. I maybe got a half hour of sleep on that flight. It was a rough time getting here. Finally I get into England. I'm all excited to get my, my passport stamped. Didn't get a stamp on my passport. <laughs> <laughs> they just they just let me through. I was totally not expecting that. And I found found the train to get to where I was staying at the steam engine hostel and, and pub love bar and grill. And they got some really good burgers there. I didn't record that. I was I was beat tired by the time I got in, but I got into the I got lost on the trains getting there and then finally when I did get there it was an hour to check in and I was just beat tired and I was like ugh and I hadn't eaten in a, in a long time so I ended up getting a cheeseburger real quick. Two o'clock check in came in, checked in, went, laid down and slept for 17 hours. <laughs> so that was my first day in England just completely sleeping.
it's Sunday, and pretty much everything is closed, and that really kind of sucks. Uh, I went to a church that Shakespeare used to go to all the time. Don't worry about the choir. The only thing I would ask you is please no photography. Okay. All right. Thank you. They didn't want me taking any footage in the in the church, but whatever. What's up, travelers? So I'm sitting here in London, England at Greencoat Boy, which is a nice little gastro pub here in London, uh, right over pretty close to Westminster Abbey and all of that cool stuff. Uh, I came here because it's Sunday and they have their famous Sunday roast, so that's what we're getting. I was about ready to, to go into a coma or something like that from not having anything in my, in my system. So here I am, here at the Green Coat Boy, and oh man, I cannot wait for that food to get here. <laughs> Yeah. 
finally we got some food here. So we got some roast chicken right here. We got some some roast beef. We got some goose fat roasted potatoes. And some Yorkshire pudding. And some mac and cheese, and carrots, and some greens. I am just excited to be eating right now. It's got some gravy here. I don't even know where to dig in, so I think we're just gonna we're gonna end up going. <laughs> trying to get some good angles here. Oh, we're gonna go with the duck, the goose fat potatoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Make a Tony happy. <laughs> All right, mm. man, that is good. The idea of cooking your potatoes in goose fat. Why don't we do that in the states? <laughs> mm. Oh, Sundays in England. It might be hard to get some food, but when you do finally get some food, it is worth it. Oh, this roast beef. Can't believe the amount of flavor that's in there. Mm. Oh, wow. That is. If there's ever been a reason to use the word fantabulous, that is fantabulous. <laughs> mm. Now let's try some of this chicken here. Here. Got some gravy that we're gonna just go ahead and dip that in. And it's like a brown gravy with red wine in it. It's, it's an interesting flavor. It's very good though. This Yorkshire pudding here. We got Yorkshire pudding. And this is a this is really, really crunchy Yorkshire pudding. That and gravy. I've always thought that it was going to be more bready. But yeah, it's mostly just crust. <laughs> it's good with that gravy though. And then of course we got we got these <laughs> duck fat roasted potatoes and uh, oh. <laughs> we should definitely be funding duck fat potatoes in the states. And then it came with some some carrots and some greens and some cheesy uh, cauliflower. Cheesy cauliflower here. I thought it was mac and cheese. You know, it's cheesy cauliflower. It's all right, but but the star of the show, the beef here, is the superstar. I kind of wish I would have went without the chicken, to be, to be honest. They didn't give you much beef at all. I got the, the chicken and roast beef sundae roast. And, uh, and the, chicken, the chicken's okay. It's not really special. But that beef was. And I really wish I would have just went with the beef. And they also have a uh, lamb. I'm pretty sure that would have been pretty amazing too. But uh, I asked the the waiter, and he said he'd go with the chicken, and the, the chicken and beef. But that may have been to charge me more. <laughs> I don't know. But they gave me a half chicken and a small slice of beef. And, you know, I think I would recommend going with the, with either the beef or the lamb. 
you definitely didn't fall for the 12 pounds that you're going to spend on it. If you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you were to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that way you know whenever I upload a new video and you don't miss it. And I would really appreciate it. Love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, eat great food. <laughs>